Hey guys, Leanne here, and I wanted to do my August favorites video. Um, now that today is September 1st, I figured I would um, compile a few of my August favorites. Um, it's a very random favorites video. It's not really all beauty or all mommy. It's just kind of random. Um, and I'm super excited that it's September. It's my favorite month of the whole year. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. Um, the first item I wanted to share with you that is definitely become a favorite of mine um, is this here. It is the Origins brand. Um, you might recognize the logo um, before maybe the name. Again, it's the Origins brand and this is the Never a Dull Moment Skin Brightening Facial Polisher with Fruit Extracts. It is a facial scrub. Um, I have problem skin, um, especially now my skin is adjusting a lot differently now that we're living down south. Um, the weather here is a lot hotter and more humid, so um, I've been having a lot of skin problems. So I've been trying um, a bunch of new facial products, and this one I really like a lot. Um, it's one of those products where a little bit goes a really long way. Um, I've had this for about two months now, and as you can see, it's barely even made a dent. And I use this about twice a week, and again, a little bit goes a long way. It is on the more expensive side. Um, I believe this is about $30. I actually got it at the Origins store, but you can get it at many um, department stores like Macy's and stuff if they have an Origins counter. Um, and it's a really nice facial polisher scrub. It's not abrasive. It smells amazing, but it's surprisingly gentle, um, although it is a polisher. So definitely check this out. I don't know if they have a travel size or a smaller size. Um, you might want to get that if they do just to try it out before you spend the $30 on the full size one. So that is my first product I wanted to share in my favorites. Um, the second product along the same lines is a Soap and Glory product. Um, this is called The Greatest Scrub of All. And it says for all skin types, it's a facial exfoliator. And again, it's along the same lines. Um, it's again, it's a facial scrub. I am obsessed with Soap and Glory products in general. Um, Sephora carries them, Target used to carry them, but Target no longer does carry them. Or you could just order right online on Sephora.com if you don't have a Sephora near you. Um, it's also gentle, um, you know, despite the fact of being a scrub. So I've been using this about once a week um, in rotation with the other scrub that I just showed you guys. So definitely check this out if you can find it. Again, it's the Soap and Glory Greatest Scrub of All love this product, love this brand. Um, next I wanted to share with you guys um, the eye makeup remover that I've been using. I actually saw this brand at Target a few months ago and I couldn't find my normal eye makeup remover which is the L'Oreal in the blue bottle with a white cap. For some reason I just couldn't find it that day. I don't know if they were sold out. So I really needed to get an eye makeup remover. So I actually picked this one up on a whim just to try it. And I actually like it just as much as my usual one, the L'Oreal one. It is a little bit more expensive. I think this is like 7 or $8. Um, but a bottle of this will last me a good month and a half to two months. And I wear eye makeup every day, whether it's mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow. Um, so I use this every day um, just with a cotton pad to remove my eye makeup. And it's oil-free. And it does work with waterproof mascara as well. Um, it's really gentle, and this brand, the number seven, actually has a whole line of products. I haven't tried any of their other products, but this one I'm really loving. Again, it's the number seven, Beautiful Skin, the oil-free eye makeup remover. And again, I got it at Target. Still um, along the lines of beauty and face care and all of that, um, I'm really loving the Burt's Bees. These are the makeup cleansing remover um, towelettes. This is the cucumber and sage scent. Um, Burt's Bees does have a few other scents. I really like the smell of cucumber. I think it's really refreshing. This is a 30 pack, so obviously it lasts me a month. I use one a day, so roughly a month. Um, and it says for normal to dry skin, what I like about this is it doesn't make my, my face feel dry or irritated. Um, it does a really good job of taking off all my makeup. So pretty much I would just use my eye makeup remover to, to remove my eye makeup. I would use this to remove whatever other makeup I have on, whether it's bronzer or lip gloss um, or foundation. I just use one of these and then I go ahead and clean or exfoliate my face. 
This to me is relatively inexpensive. It's about $6, like $5.99, again at Target for these, and one package will last you the whole month. So if you like cucumber, definitely check this um, scent out and give this a shot because it's a really good um, facial cleansing towelette to take your makeup off. Um, the next product I want to share with you guys is by NYX. And um, normally I use, this is a, um, it's a makeup setting spray. And for a couple years I had been using the Urban Decay um, All Nighter which is $30 for a bottle. And that one is, it's double this size, so it's like a four ounce bottle. Um, and I've been using that for a couple years. I absolutely love that product still. But I actually picked this up at Ulta when they had a sale a couple months ago. Um, it is a smaller bottle, it's two, two ounces. But this I think was like six bucks. And um, I think it works excellent as far as setting my makeup. Here in the south, it's extremely humid. Um, this morning it was 90 degrees at 10 a.m., just to sum it up. Um, I've been using this every day. It's about half um, half full right now. And even in the humidity where your makeup feels like it's melting off, I feel like this does a really good job of keeping uh, my makeup on and looking fresh still. So if you guys are in Ulta or anywhere that sells NYX products, definitely check this out because it's really inexpensive and it's really effective. Um, I actually think I would purchase this again because of the fact of the price and the fact that it works so well. It's definitely a lot more inexpensive than the normal setting spray that I use, which again is the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is $30. So this I believe was around $6. Um, I don't know if that, I think that was the sale price. So I think it's probably closer to maybe seven or eight dollars, but even so, um, it's still a really good bargain for the price. So that is, um, again, the NYX um, setting spray. It's a dewy finish. Next up is this product here, which I absolutely love. I actually got this um, from my friend Alyssa, and this is the Argan Oil One and Only Moroccan Cream to Serum Styler. Um, it's for shine, smoothness, and frizz control, and it really works well. Um, it just has a pump top like this, and it's sort of a, it actually looks just like a cream kind of consistency, and it does a really good job of giving my hair shine, um, getting the frizz under control, um, and it's just, it's a really good smoothing serum. I actually use it after I flat iron my hair, and even with the humidity here in the south, it does a really good job. Um, of keeping that under control. I don't know where my friend Alyssa got this, but I'm trying to show you guys up close the label so that you can pick this up. You can probably Google it and find it, but I love this and I would definitely repurchase this again. Um, it doesn't make my hair feel sticky. It feels really smooth and again, it does a really good job of keeping the frizz under control. So, and I love anything with argan oil anyways. Um, Next product I'm going to share with you guys is another Soap and Glory product, um, and this is the Righteous Body Butter Lotion. So it's a body butter and a lotion sort of in one. Um, I love the pump top. It's just really convenient. It smells amazing. Um, it smooths, but it doesn't make you feel oily. I actually keep this on my nightstand, and I use it on my hands and like my wrist kind of area every night before bed and it does a really good job of keeping my um, hands feeling really smooth but never oily and it absorbs really well. I got this actually from Sephora a while back and um, I've been using it every night, again right before bed, so I've put a nice little dent in it. It is on the more expensive side, I think this bottle is somewhere around $20 or $25. Um, it's a good size bottle. It's 16.2 ounces. And because I only use it at night on my hands and my, you know, sort of my forearms, it, it's going to last me a lot longer than if I used it on my whole body. So again, it's the Righteous Body Butter Lotion. So it combines the body butter and the lotion. It's a great product. And again, I can't say enough good things about Soap and Glory. My last sort of, I guess, health and beauty product is um, the EOS Coconut lip balm and um, it's just regular EOS but the flavor uh, it just smells so good it just goes on so easy I like to put it um, on before lip gloss after lip gloss right before bed it's just I can't say enough good things about the EOS 
I actually got this at Target. It was, I think, $3 or $4, um, and I really love it a lot. So definitely go to Target if you haven't already picked this up and get it. It's the coconut, and it's like a pink and white striped. Okay, next, guys, um, I'm loving this candle. It's the banana nut bread pudding, um, and it literally smells like fresh baked banana bread pudding. It smells amazing. So I got this at Bath & Body Works. Um, on sale and I'm actually going to go and get a bunch more of this scent because if they run out I will freak out so um, it just smells amazing if you like banana bread at all the scent of it definitely get this because your whole house will smell like you're baking it and it's a perfect fall scent um, it's really sweet but not sickening sweet and I'm absolutely just in love with this the last two items I wanted to share are very random um, most of you guys know I use my Keurig and I'm obsessed with K-Cups. Um, I actually kick the coffee pot to the curb because I love my Keurig. So I prefer a really dark roast coffee that stands up to creamer. Um, and this, I am absolutely loving these K-Cups. It is the Cafe Bastello K-Cups. And this is all I've been using. Um, if I can find them in stock, sometimes they sell out. But for those who have never tried the K-Cups of this, it is exactly like the coffee that you can buy ground, um, which I loved prior to discovering my, you know, having a Keurig. But this is the same exact thing in the K-Cup form. It is amazing. Um, I get these at Target. It's the 18-pack. They're about $10 to $11. Sometimes you can find them on sale. And it's a really, really dark roast espresso style coffee and it stands up really well to creamer or half and half or milk or whatever you put in there. So I am obsessed with these. I wish they would sell them in like the bulk box because I would buy them easily. So if you guys like dark roast coffee, definitely check these out. You can always get them at Target usually unless they sell out. And my last random item are these here. I'm obsessed with these. This are, these are the rolled gold pretzel fins and they're sort of like a pretzel chip and this is the garlic parmesan flavor. I actually just picked these up this morning because we are going to my friend's house to her pool today and I'm just gonna bring these for us to snack on. Um, it says on the back that you can dip them or top them with like bruschetta um, and even on the front it shows as well but I just think they're great just plain. Um, they are so flavorful and what I really like about these guys is they're so low fat compared to chips they have two grams of fat per serving, which as you know is a lot less than like a potato chip or even like a corn chip. So it satisfies that chip craving, but it's a lot less fattening. So again, um, they're the rolled gold pretzel thins. They do have them in a couple other flavors. I think they have plain and the three cheese, I think it is. So definitely check these out if you're a fan of garlic parmesan and you want something that will satisfy your crispy um, chip craving without all the fat in it. So that is all for my August favorites. I know it was extremely random with the two coffee and chip things at the end, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all had a great summer and I hope you all have a great fall. Talk to you soon. Bye.